Pittsburgh is home to some amazing authors, including our next guest, who are topping the New York Times bestsellers list. Rachel Lippincott's newest novel about young love, breakups, and falling for the one maybe you didn't expect to is a special one because she co-wrote it with her wife. Please welcome Rachel Lippincott and Allison Derrick. And it's so good to have you both here. Thanks so Thanks much for having us. Yeah, we're so excited to be here. <laughs> Rachel, last time you were here, you were talking with us about the success of Five Feet Apart, the movie that coincided with it. And I, we really want to talk about your new novel because this one is so special. Yeah, it's it's so incredible. I mean, getting to write this book with Allison has just been an incredible part. You know, we uh, met at the University of Pittsburgh, so in a writing class of all things. So being able to, you know, write a book together has just been absolutely incredible. So what, what was that process like? Mm -hmm. I mean, did you instantly work well, we, we know in real life you work well together, but not everybody can work with their spouse. And you know, and writing is a very personal thing, especially if you have different styles right. of how you do it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we did wonder too how it was going to go, but it was actually really smooth. Yeah. And Surprisingly so. Yeah, and it, we had a lot of fun with it. Um, the book sort of loosely follows our real love story. So it's kind of fun to like sort of relive it through, you know, telling this. So it's called She Gets the Girl, and the premise is about Two, the two main characters, two women, who are kind of after different things, mm -hmm. but they, they realize that they have a shared mission in yeah, a way. Really. Yeah, yeah, they meet on uh, the campus of the University of Pittsburgh and they decide to team up to help one another get the respective girls of their dreams, and they end up, you know, classic rom-com, falling in love with yeah. each other instead. Is that what happened with the two of you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so loosely based, but there is. follow your story. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty close, yeah. So it has been, for two weeks, uh, on the New York Times Young Adult Fiction bestsellers list. Yes, so has, yes. is this going to be destined for a movie too? Oh, oh I mean, fingers crossed, that's the right? Dream. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you saw Heartstopper this past weekend just absolutely blow up, so it'd be really yeah. cool to have, you know, a sapphic love story also get that. So tell us about the process. David asked a little bit about this of sitting down and and writing. You had the idea. Mm -hmm. How do you go from there? Do you write a chapter? Do you write a chapter? How do you do that? Yeah, so we sat down at the kitchen table together and outlined everything. And then, yeah, so we would each take a chapter, write it, exchange, and then sort of revise. And it was kind of like a little bit like writing love letters back and forth to each other. Oh, oh that's kind of sweet. Because yeah. it could be mayhem. Oh, like if, you, yeah, if yeah. you wrote one chapter and then I wrote one chapter and then could you like if we, if we wrote a oh book? Oh my gosh, <laughs> our book would never get published. No, it would not. <laughs> so if it does become a movie, have you thought this far down the line? Who would you want to play the roles loosely based on you? Oh my, oh my goodness. Gosh. Um, oh. I, honestly, Alex, I was I always think like Mia Healy from the Wilds. You know, she's super cool. I like I like her vibe. Uh, uh, Fievel, Fievel Stewart, Stewart too yeah. for, for Molly. Yeah. I love that we have names. All I right. know. Yeah. Okay. I know. I'm like I'm huge on Pinterest, so you know yeah. I'll just make uh, okay. boards and stuff. All right. All so Hollywood, together. if you're listening, they already have ideas. They have their ideas. <laughs> yes. So we really want to get you to sign the book because what we have learned in this process and, and interviewing the last time is that we have such a fantastic mm -hmm. group of authors here in Pittsburgh that have great connections here. And so we really wanted to get you to sign the book so that we could keep it here and start our own collection uh, based on Pittsburgh. Yeah. Oh, gosh, it would be our honor. Yeah, Pittsburgh. Okay. Do you mind if I borrow your, your pen, Patty? Let's see if I can catch oh it. Oh, my gosh. Look that at was that. great. There you go. <laughs> that was great. That was a moment in sports history, <laughs> you catching that pen. <laughs> so we're going to get you guys to sign this. And we thank you both for joining us. And congratulations on the success. Thank you so Getting much for your time. Really yeah. And we can't wait to hear about your next project. So thank you again for joining us. Well, She Gets the Girl is available now online and in a bookstore near you. And look for the link to buy your copy. Go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. This is a keeper. This is going to be up next to the Dorothy Dresden in just a couple of years. Uh, there you right? go. <laughs>